Hello, I'm Jay Bowman, and I want to thank you for your interest in FMI's first quarter forecast for 2023. As we close the books on 2022, it looks to be quite a success for the year. Total engineering and construction spending in the U.S. looks to end up plus 8% for the year, similar to what we saw the prior two years. And probably more surprising, we saw several segments that were up by double digits, including multifamily, manufacturing, and water wastewater, and perhaps surprisingly, commercial construction. So the question is, can we maintain that same kind of pattern of growth and trajectory into 2023? Well, as it currently stands, our forecast is calling for a 2% decline in overall construction spending for the current year. Now, there's two things I want you to keep in mind as you think about that. First, down does not equal dead. And two, as many of you have probably heard me say several times before, bull markets and bear markets coexist at all times. But let's start with that first point. What do we mean we say down does not equal dead? Well, even with a 2% decline in total construction spending, by the end of the year, that equates to $1.72 trillion. That's 6% more spending than we saw in 2021 and almost 30% more than what we saw in 2018. It is still a massive market. So what about those bull markets and bear markets? Well, yes, total residential construction looks to be down 12%. And some people were kind of surprised when they learned that roughly one out of every four to five dollars of construction is in single family homes. And with that looking to be down 20% in 2023, that has an outside effect, if you will, on total construction spending. Even when you look at it at the sector level, yes, again, residential down 12%. But look at non-residential buildings and also look at non-building structures, which is equivalent of like heavy civil construction, both up 8%. This becomes even more apparent about these bull markets and bear markets when you look at things at the segment level. You know, all segments, excluding single family and residential improvements, are all up with the exception of one segment, religious construction. And in fact, when you compare 2023 to 2022, Seven segments were up by double digits in 2022. For 2023, it looks to be that eight segments will actually be up by double digits. Another thing to keep in mind is that our world is rapidly evolving, whether that's demographically, socially, technically, the list goes on and on. The thing being that there's always going to be opportunities, regardless of what type of market we may find ourselves in. In other words, it's not a time to panic, but it is a time to plan. And as we look into 2023 and some of the points that we've talked about, some of the things that we would suggest you really be thinking about this time is what is our strategy? What are we doing from a business development and marketing perspective to make sure that we have those relationships with clients, that we're winning the work that we need to work? What are we doing from a leadership perspective? And finally, what are we doing from a people perspective? I'd encourage you to reach out to one of our bankers or one of our consultants to talk about how these things affect your business specifically, and again, how you can plan for 2023 and the years beyond to continue to be successful. I'd also encourage you to download the full report at fmicorp.com. Thank you very much.